The process bar can be configured in many ways to ease the process of completing a task. So business processes are created through a series of stages and steps that can be customized specifically to the needs of the business. And the way a business process works is that it begins at the first stage. So here it would start at qualify. And here the users can begin filling out the fields for each step or they can mark it as completed. To move on, the user can select next stage or there is something called stage gating where the step within a stage is marked as required and therefore needs to be populated before advancing. And that can be done through editing the process. The process bar can also contain a condition, which is where the flow will split into two branches. When this happens, the process bar will automate an additional stage to pop up with alter steps. So for example, I set up a condition for when estimated revenue is less than estimated budget. And when this happens, we can see that the internal review stage will pop up. To make changes to the process bar, we will go to process, and then select Edit Process. Essentially, this is the drag and drop visual designer for the process bar, where you're able to add or remove stages, steps, or conditions to best fit the needs of your business. And that is how to navigate through the process bar.